got started seriously in dance photography in 1949 when I went to Jacob's Pillow and uh, at Ted Sean's invitation, I stayed three weeks. And uh, so I began by photographing the greatest dance artist of that period, uh, Jose Limon, uh, Nana Gallner, uh, Mia Slavinska, um, Maria Tallchief, the whole group. So I, I, never, I never had to unlearn anything I learned. And Ted Sean, on seeing my photography of dance, he said, never study dance. He said, just rely on your own eye for line and design. He said, your eye is so acute and so good that it, it, you'll mess yourself up if you try to get technical with dance. So I never did. And ultimately, of course, I learned some but you can't help it. But I always pretended I didn't know so, that it was very, what I was asking people to do to jump higher was sort of hard for them. But uh, they, if you pretended you didn't know that you were messing them up, they would uh, they'd do it and turn out better. A uh, classic uh, example is this young man in this picture, uh, Eric Brun. He was the top dancer of his period. He was doing a jump for me one time and it was so perfect that I, and I just was joking and said, Eric, do that again and point your feet this time. And I couldn't believe that he, he bit, but he did. And damn, the, the, the uh, feet were even more pointed. It was, it was incredible. So I learned then that you can you always ask for more and sometimes you'll get it. With Jack, it's Alvin Ailey, chronicler for 30 years. Is it longer than 30 years? I mean, it's amazing. I mean, I look at myself growing up in his pictures. I look at Alvin growing up. I look at, you know, the dancers and the kind of history that Jack has frozen in time. You know, it's there. So you can go, yeah, I used to look like that. When you would walk into his studio, you'd go in, and there was everybody famous that you ever knew, that you ever saw. Everyone on Broadway, movie stars, dancers, whatever. and. Each shot looked as if Jack knew them from the day they were born. He pulled the uniqueness out of you regardless of whether you wanted it pulled out of you or not. He was amazing at that. And the studio wasn't that big. The sense of infinity in his photographs would make you think that he was in an infinite space. I would have loved to have asked Jack, were you thinking, oh yeah, here I am shooting these historical pictures? I don't think so. I know that Jack recognized Alvin as being someone extremely special. Alvin's idea of dance, it could be popular, it could be accessible, not necessarily easy, but that people of color should be represented on the stage and they weren't being represented. And I remember this shot very well because I was tired of holding my leg up. Get this leg up and get that foot pointed and it's going to be right. It's amazing what he got from us. The classic shot, Leonard Meek. We sold more of these posters. It's a classic shot. Marilyn Banks. Now that's a character. <laughs> that's a character. And Alvin asked us to develop these characters and to understand what it was to not just do steps, to live within a dance, you know, to breathe within it. The happiest thing I'm seeing, though, is that in their expression, there's such a sense of fulfillment that Jack has captured. Look at this. People who are at once grounded and ethereal, and also look as if they have the weight of the world on them. They look like they've had a revelation, that they've seen something miraculous. You are seeing something you have never seen in the heavens. Cry was dedicated to all black women, especially our mothers. It was a birthday gift to his mother. For some reason, I got to do it the first time, and that's when all the publicity came. We took this gorgeous, glamorous picture of standing there with my arms kind of like draped in front of me in this gorgeous white sequin dress. And it was the section of, of Sophisticated Ladies, which was on Broadway for two years, that I had Gregory singing to me, Sophisticated Lady every night, you know? And there I was in this white, gorgeous gown. I didn't know I was supposed to have red fingernails. So we had to take the shot again. This man is Miguel Gaudreau, one of the most important parts of the Ailey Company even being recognized. They used to refer to him as the Black Nureyev. Do you realize that we lost most of the male dancers, you know, from this terrible epidemic called AIDS? 
<laughs> you know, that people keep denying that it's still here. We lost some extraordinary artists. Jack got them on film so that they won't be forgotten. When people used to talk about Alvin stopping traffic, he was so beautiful. <laughs> yes, he was. My favorite word for dance is ephemeral. Absolutely. When I learned that word as a child, I just didn't know it would attach itself to a career. It, it's like a wisp. It's just gone. And you're left with, with uh, something that is intangible. It has moved you. It maybe has entertained you. It's maybe taking you to a higher ground and uplifted you. Or if it's made, maybe made you feel not so good, but it's made you feel. And I think Jack's pictures of Alvin and his dancers made you feel. <laughs>